Hi there, this is Joey Baker, recording tip of the day. Um, upright bass. Um, I like to use two microphones. I happen to have a U47, um, which works brilliantly. Uh, I also like to use um, a U47 FET, um, works great. And also, um, I have an M147 that also works beautifully, all Neumann. Um, you could pretty much use any vocal mic uh, on the upright and it will sound good. What I'm doing here is I've got two mics. The bottom mic I'm calling the, the bridge mic and the top mic I'm calling the neck, neck mic. Um, the bridge mic picks up the body of the instrument or the bottom end, the warmth, and the neck mic picks up the detail from the fingers, that, that sort of th sound. Um, over here uh, I've got the, uh, the U47 going through this Chandler LTD-1, which is a Neve copy of a 1073. Um, the EQ is off. You can pretty much treat it like a vocal, um, except you want to keep the bottom end in. Um, then I've got here, I think, 560 hertz. I've got a couple of dB out. Everything else is flat. Um, the uh, neck microphone, I'm passing through this um, TG-2, which is an EMI Abbey Road um, copy. Um, and this one, I generally roll off quite a lot of the bottom end, and uh, I, I, I'm careful with it in the mix because it can get pretty um, thin and, and, and too much detail is not very nice. And then the other thing I find is when you're mixing upright, um, there happens to be a lot of resonant frequencies in the upright bass, um, especially around the D string um, and uh, around 70. 70 hertz, 73 hertz, sometimes you'll have to pull out, scoop out a little bit of that in the mix um, to make it sound right. And uh, that's about it.